6th Annual Enderly Pull-Ups from Ambassador Park at Fort Recovery, Ohio. This running of this $35,000 bonus program features all kinds of horsepower. We'll be showing you the 7,200-pound modified class Pro National Qualifiers, the wheel-standing two-wheel drive Pro National Qualifiers, and the heaviest motorsport on wheels, the unlimited modified Grand National Top 5 Qualifiers. We'll tell you all about this coming up right after this. recovery for the 6th Annual Enderly Pull-Ops. This event features the leaders of the end-of-season points races in each of the Grand National and Pro National Pulling Circuit Divisions. The top five in each of the seven divisions qualifies to the run for their share of over $35,000 in Enderly bonus point money. That is a huge purse. The divisions competing for the Enderly Big Checks are the Pro National and Grand National two-wheel drives, the top two divisions of the four-wheel drive trucks, Grand National Modified Mini Rods, the Multi-Engine Pro National Modifieds, and the heaviest motorsport on wheels, the Grand National Unlimited Modifieds. Now, the double pulling track here at Port Recovery is going to be tough and has been historically. Earlier today, almost four inches of rain fell, and the temperatures started falling with an expected low in the 40s. So the question will be, can these high horsepower engines be able to perform? The Enderly classes will battle on a 310-foot track. That's about 10 feet longer than the standard competition pulling strip. With the extra distance, there will be no pull-ups. Competitors have one run to prove who is the best. Tonight, we're going to feature three divisions in the Enderly, and we'll give you the results of the other four divisions. First up, it's the 7,200-pound Pro National Modifieds. These guys are going to go all out to compete right here. Ricky Rose, the Wild Rose, takes his pull, the first of five in the 7,200-pound Pro National Modified Class. First competitor here on the $35,000 Enderly, Ricky Rose out of Glencoe, Minnesota, the Wild Rose, powered by Rodak. The first one out the block. Ricky Rose with a 304-foot effort. He goes past the 300-foot mark. That'll set the goal for the four other competitors in the multi-engine Pro National class. That's what they've got to shoot for. This is Steve Klingerberg out of Holland, Michigan. The bad habit running. 5, 4, 54 Chevrolets. Now all of the power plants will be bowtie brigade power plants here in the 7,200-pound modified class. Again, whole lot of horsepower right here. Steve, a good young man out of Michigan, is looking to take home the top dollar here in the 7,200-pound modified Pro National Enderly Pull-Up. One of the five best in the United States coming up right now. Steve Klingenberg, Holland, Michigan, the bad habit. sideline back to the center of the track he had to ride the brakes and he's going to come up a whole lot of feet short a tough break for steve Klingenberg. this is bob jostock running 454 chevrolets now all of the power plants will be bowtie brigade power plants here in the 7200 pound modified class going to be a tough one right here. As you look at valve covers, you've got some coming out underneath there. The fuel filter right here. The oil filter also with a little bit of a problem, but a tough break for a guy coming in here to go after the big dollars. A tough break for the wild child. The old 
Douglas out of Alveston, Ontario, Canada. The only Canadian who made it into the Enderley pull-off with the spook. 427 cubic inches of Chevrolet engine. We talked to him earlier in the pits. He gave us this comment on what it's like to be a Canadian in this unique American motorsport. Yeah, well, surprised herself too. We never pulled with the rest of the guys to see approximately how good we could do. We knew we had pretty well the top tractor in Canada and uh, we gave it out here and give it our shot and uh, we're holding pretty good as far as I'm concerned this year. right there a tough situation we talked about it but again i guess it's got to be experience that you got to feel good about yeah uh i had to drop a bunch of air pressure out to get my drawbar low enough and that's a detriment to me and i fixed this motor here i had some head problems and i still think i got problems there because it just didn't seem like it was putting the power out that i wanted to Bill Douglas turns in a pretty respectable effort considering he had to drop the air pressure that affected his drawbar. 221 feet at 9 inches, a tough break, but you got to feel good for the young man out of Canada. He represented his nation pretty well as one of the top five modified competitors here in the Enderley Pull-Up. Remember, it's the top five competitors that are chasing that their share of that $35,000 purse. Judy Knipstein out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, the number one qualifier in the Kelly Chevrolet Special. Four 526 Chevrolet engines, 1991 fifth place in the Enderley. Now, Judy shares the distinction of being the first woman to enter the Enderley as the number one qualifier. Number one qualifier, but the last in the class as number one qualifier. She got to pick where she would hook in the class. She wanted to come out at the very end. in second spot right here. Do you think there'd be any regret about hooking last in the class? Well, it would... I don't know. If I had to do all over again, I could probably make some changes, but you never know until you, you know, make your first pass at it. It seemed like a lot, and I wanted to give up a little bit, and then it kind of locked into it again, and I had to hit the brakes a little bit. What a great class that was in the Enderley pull-up. Well, that is one tough track, throwing competitors all over the place. Ricky Rose hangs on to take home the win with 304 feet, the winning distance. 